morning students in this class i'll be doing class 9 samachir kalvi syllabus or matriculation syllabus third chapter algebra exercise 3.10 okay first subdivision already i have completed that is um, draw the graph for the given linear equation so you one linear equation is given so you will get a graph uh, one uh, straight line you will be plotting it in the graph sheet now in this solve graphically so two linear equations are given two linear equation in two variables are given so you are asked to solve that and find the value of x and y after plotting it in the graph sheet so what are all the values we are going to substitute in the for the given uh, linear equation that we will find out first separately that is for x plus y we will take two values it will take x as uh, 0 and y as 0 and find the two points that has to be plotted here that we will plot it in the graph sheet that is one thing then x minus y is equal to 3 for that also we will take x value and y value as 0 find out uh, two points that has to be plotted we will plot it at the point where both the lines intersect that is the solution for the given two equation Okay, so that is the thing we are going to do now. Okay, so first equation is x plus y is equal to 7. So for this one, we will take x is equal to 0. So if we are taking x is equal to 0, then that if we are substituting it here, 0 plus y is equal to 7. So we will get y value as 7. So if x is 0, y will be 7. So that we will put it in a tabular column x and y two values if we find for both it is enough x and y so if x value is 0 y value is 7 now we will take y value as 0 y value as 0 we will take so x plus 0 is equal to 7 so we will get x value as 7 so if y is 0 x is 7 so these two points only we are going to plot it in the graph here so if we plot it first one is 0 comma 7 so the two points that are to be plotted are 0 comma 7 and 7 comma 0 so 0 comma 7 is this is x axis so 0 comma 0 is the x axis y is here so this point is 0 comma 7 then the next point is 7 comma 0 so 7 on the x axis and y on the y axis okay uh, 0 on the y axis so 7 on the x axis and 0 on the y axis so 7 comma 0 we will get it here so this is 7 comma 0 okay so when we join this we will get the get a straight line for this we will get a straight line for this when we join this so we got a straight line here okay so this is graph this is a graph for the first equation x plus y is equal to 7 so now we will do for the second one so the second one is x minus y is equal to 3 so same thing we will do we will take x is equal to 0 so y is equal to that is 0 minus y is equal to 3 so y is equal to minus 3 so we we'll put it in a tabular column so x and y values x and y so if x is 0 y is minus 3 okay then if y is 0 okay so x minus 0 is equal to 3 so we we'll get x is equal to 3 so if y is 0 x value is 3 so these two points we will plot it in the graph 0 comma minus 3 so 0 here on the x axis minus 3 on the on the y axis so we will get it here so this is 0 comma minus 3 then 3 comma 0 so 3 on the x axis and 0 here so it will be on the axis if we have 0 comma minus 3 it will be on the axis Okay, so all the points like the 0, 7, 7, 0 on the axis only we will get. Same way 0, minus 3, 3, 0 on the axis only we will get. So, when we join this we will get 
like this. We will get a graph like this. So this is the graph for x minus y is equal to 3. And this is the graph for x plus y is equal to 7. x plus y is equal to 7. So the point where it intersects. So this point, at this point it intersects. So that point is the solution for the given equation. So that is the solution for the given equation. So when we simplify this, when we simplify this, we will get the value for this x and y. We will get the value for this x and y. So the point where it intersects is like this. So the point of intersection is for x axis is 5. So 5 comma 2 is the point of intersection this point at this point. So the solution for this equation is 5 comma 2 that is the value for x is 5 and y is 2. So solution is 5 comma 2. The value for this is that is when we solve these two equation graphically and in any other method if you are doing also we will get the answer as 5 comma 2 that is x axis x value is 5 and y value is 2. Okay so with this I am completing today's class. Whatever doubts you have, you message me in the comment box. Thank you.